Hello everyone! Kumusta? Today is a different video because I will be answering a question from one of my viewers and I think that I should do this more often because some of you might have the same question and I haven't replied to all of your comments so I think that it would be best to answer some of your questions through a video. This will help me answer the same questions which I haven't responded yet and if you have other questions, please feel free to write them in the comments. I will try my best to answer them or I might also make a video to answer that question. Before we go to the question, I would like to share this with you because I am very happy for this cat Leah. I bought this as a seedling and I have shared this with you. She was in bud and now she is in full bloom and she is even growing a new spike here. Let me turn this around and as you can see, there's another spike. I am very happy because I bought this as a Catlia seedling last year and she is now blooming very early or maybe this is just how this Catlia grows. Here's the question from one of you and I might not pronounce the name correctly so I will just not say the name but thank you so much mom for asking and for taking time to comment in one of my videos. This will give me the opportunity to explain more. Also, some of my viewers might have the same question in their minds. Before I answer the question, for those new here, my name is Che. This is my orchid garden. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe for more videos. To all of you, thank you for clicking to watch this video. To my subscribers, Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Going back to the question, why my orchid pots don't have holes? Actually, all of the pots that I use have bottom holes to drain out excess water when I water the orchids and especially when it rains. But I think what the question meant was, why my orchid pots don't have side holes or side slits to give my orchids more air. I hope that I got the question correctly and if I am wrong, I'll be happy to explain more. I will try to explain well, but please forgive me, I can't use some words correctly. My English is not that good, but I'm trying here to share my passion and to show other growers in the world how I grow my orchids, hoping that I can also help them or you in any way that I can. To my kababayans, if you have questions, please feel free to ask them in Bisaya or in Tagalog. I will also answer them in that dialect. Majority of my orchids are grown in the same setup. Plastic pots with bottom holes and no side slits or holes. And I've been growing them with success. I have my blooming size Catleas in hanging plastic pots. Catlia seedlings in vertical hanging wall pots and other Catlias in plastic pots. My Tulumias are also in plastic pots. My Rinko stylus seedlings, Oncidiums, Phalaenopsis, some Vandas, and Denrobiums. I also have Denrobiums in clay pots and I also have them in clay pots with side holes but I prefer to have my orchids in uniform pots. This is to show you that I did grow my orchids in plastic pots without side holes or slits with no major problem because of two main reasons. But the things that I will mention here will refer to my orchids or applicable to my orchids. I cannot say for everyone because we might have different growing conditions. First of the two main reasons why I can grow my orchids in plastic pots without side slits or holes is my environment. I live in a warm region in the Philippines Philippines is a tropical country. We have high temperature, high humidity, and abundant rainfall. There are also cold places in the Philippines, 
but I live in a hot or warm city near the sea. My garden here in a subdivision community is hot or warm and very windy. So my orchids, even in plastic pots and no side ventilation, can dry or breathe and grow well in the setup even when it's rainy season. Second reason why I can grow my orchids in plastic pots without side slits or side holes is my choice of orchid medium. All of my orchids are in inorganic media. I use charcoal, stones or lava rocks, and mostly hydroton or leca. And by the way, I have a video about how I prepare charcoal as medium for my orchids and a video about how I prepare hydroton or leca as medium for my orchids. The links will be in the description for your referral. The medium that I use don't degrade in short time, they can last long even if I water them every day or even if it always rain. I sometimes use moss, cocoa husk, and bark for my outdoor orchids but only as top layer or little mix and I can have them remove easily when my orchids are always wet. I also have orchids in organic media or sphagnum moss or cocoa husk, also in plastic pots without side holes or side slits, but I have them indoors so that I can control the watering. And as I told you, most of my orchids are in hydroton or leca. Hydroton keeps my orchids moist but not wet. It also dries easily in my environment and the shape of the pebbles allows air to flow inside the pot. So those are the two main reasons why I can grow my orchids in pots without side holes or side slits. And another thing, one more thing, another reason is that I grow orchids which adapt well to my growing style or method. Not all of us can grow in the same setup that I use for my orchids due to different reasons, but what's important is we understand our orchids, we must understand them. Consider our environment, our temperature, and our care for them. Not all methods can apply to everybody or to every orchids. This is why I created my channel in the first place to share and learn from each other. Also, please do not believe or copy everything you see in social media because some might be just clickbaits. Please observe well and if you want to try something new, try it on one of your orchids first and see if it will also work for you. Check other orchid growing YouTube channels and see how they grow their orchids. I hope that I have explained the important things I need to say if I forgot something or if I failed to include important matter pertaining to the subject. Please help me by adding that in the comments. I would really appreciate that. Once again, thank you so much for the question. I hope and I will try my best to share more about growing orchids this 2023. Even if I cannot reply to all of your comments, please know that I value them and I am thankful to every one of you who watches my videos. Thank you so much for your support. Please check my merch in my channel store tab or through the link in the description and in the comments. You can further support this channel by using the super thanks button and by commenting and sharing this video. Thank you so much everyone. I wish you all good health. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat. Paalam. See you on my next videos.